Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to the Trackmaster Thomas Friends Game Show Season 2. I know it's been since a long time, and I did take plastic surgery again. So, yeah, I'm the usual host, as usual. Not so, not so fast. What, Thomas Percy, what are you guys doing here? Just, well, you said yesterday that there's going to be a new host, and we're the new host. What? I, I never said that! Yes, you did. Your live-action counterpart. Yeah, I even said it myself in the video. Oh! <laughs> so you're replacing me? Yep, and we're going to be the better, funnier host than you. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be featured in our two-part special, our Christmas special. Oh, that's the relief. So beat it, Justin. Oh. Fine, I'll go listen to Michael Jackson, who want to be starting something in the back. Well, that was unexpected. Anyways, here are the contestants for today. Whoever that girl is from Toy Story, and Emmett and Lucy from the Lego Movie series. Ah! Oh, stupid camera. Anyways, huh, it's great to be back, isn't it, Lucy? You said it, Emmett. And you said it yourself, too, Emmett. Anyways, here's our first question. When was the Michael Jackson album Thriller released? Oh, I know this one. Is the answer November 1982? Correct, Emmett. You get 100 points. Doo doo. Anyways, folks, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Season 3, premiering May 2022, or something like that, I don't know. Hey kids, you want the brand new Crayola Cup crayons? Well guess what, we have them for you, introducing Crayola's latest product, the Crayola 64 Crayon Colors. It features 64 crayons, a backstory on the back of the box, and a crayon sharpener. Ooh. So buy it today. Only $64 in stores near you. Wow, Thomas, that was the lamest commercial break everyone has ever seen. Yeah, tell me about it. Anyways, on to our second question. When did SpongeBob came out? Was it A, 1997, B, 1999, or C, 1981? Oh, this is easy. Is the answer 1999? That's correct, Lucy. You get 60 points. Doo doo. Anyways, on to our final question of the day. You know what? That's it. I'm the host now. You can't stop me. I hosted this show first. Justin, you are going to appear in the, the, the fourth episode of the series oh so now you care about me moments ago you're like oh i don't think justin should be on his youtube channel anymore i think we should take over what that's not true why would we do that because my real life counterpart said so. You were voiced by yourself. Why did he say, Thomas? 
beats me. Can someone get him off of the set? Oh, get him! Anyways, thanks. Whatever your name is. Oh, don't worry. You can research it. I don't mind whatever name you give me. I'm gonna call you Woody Sisters. That's good. Yeah, because we have a lot of stuff in common. Also, Justin doesn't watch Toy Story, so yeah. Well, okay. Anyways, on to our last question of the day. What are these toys? Oh, I know the answer. It's an easy one. Are those the Walt Disney 50th anniversary that McDonald's put in their Happy Meals? Yep, it's correct. You get 50 points. Doo doo! That was the rest of the episode. I hope you enjoy. Episode 2 will come out on December 18th, 2021. So see you then. Dun, 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 dun. Do, 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 Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show, Season 2, Episode 2, Part 1. And this episode is a merry game, well, a Christmas game show or something. I don't know, we're too lazy to name this episode. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So here are our contestants. First up is Victor. Hello. Then Ben, and then last up, Annie! Hello! And so, you're going to answer three questions, just like last episode. Yeah, and it's going to be the best one ever. Yeah, actually, make that ten questions. Ten? But last episode, you said three. Yeah, well, we wanted to make it a part two. So, yeah. Anyways, on to our first question. What day is Christmas? Is it A, December 25th, B, December 24th, or C, all above? Now, let's see who answered this question. Hmm, I think this one is easy. Is it C? That is correct. What? How is it C? Let me show you something. Look at this calendar. Look, see, December 24th is Christmas Eve, and December 25th is Christmas Day. So they're both Christmas. But that doesn't make sense. Christmas Eve is on December 24th. Christmas Day is when you open up your presents, go to church, and sing Christmas songs like Jingle Bells or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, yeah, you're actually kind of right. I know how that makes sense. Um, but it's actually December 24th. Let me do something. Ben, that telescope costs 20 bucks. 20 bucks? That thing is small. Oh, well. I'm just going to chill here wait for the next question. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, what day is God's birth? Get day of birth. Is it A, December 25th, B, unknown, or C, both? Okay. Um, let's see. December 25th. Eh, incorrect. Yeah. Does anybody else want to try? Um, is it, is it B? Nope. Victor? Um, is it C? Correct. It is both of them. Because, well, 
<laughs> um, people, some people really don't know when Jesus was born. And some people think it's December 25th. So there's no right or wrong answer. But you just, eh, me and Annie, stupid. Oh, well, sorry, Ben. Sorry, Annie. There is no right or wrong answer because we don't know. I mean, yeah. So I guess all of you guys got the correct answer. And you guys all start with 10 points. Well, Victor, you, you get 20 for the other one. Yes. Do do. Also, we made a Ben 10 reference. Look. See, Ben's name is Ben, and there's a 10 next to Ben. So, it says Ben 10. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny, Thomas. You just turn anything with my name and 10 and make it into a Ben 10 reference. Hey, hey, Ben. Hey, hey, Ben. What? Turn into Diesel 10. Or like bubbles or scissors or something. Turn into anything. Okay. Ha Wait a minute. Thomas, did you just turn me into scissors? Yeah, I turned you into scissors. Thomas, why did you do that? Because it's funny. Now you can morph into anything you want. Can I morph into a hammer so I can smash you? Uh, no. Mm-hmm, that's what I thought. Now let me change myself back. Ha <laughs> okay, all right. All right, what's the next question? Okay, which holiday is better? Is it A, Christmas, B, Halloween, or C, other? Thomas, how is that even a Christmas question? It has nothing to do with Christmas. Just pick which holiday is better. Okay. Is it B? You're absolutely correct. How is it a good holiday? Well, you get candy. Yeah, but it represents the dead. I just made like, that was like sarcasm. Oh. Well, um... Alright, just be real this time. Which holiday is better? Uh, other? And which holiday? Thanksgiving, New Year's, um, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, April Fool's. How is April Fool's a holiday? It's a day when you get to prank all people all the time. Well, it's a holiday and it comes every year just like all the others so it's a ho considered a holiday oh sorry thomas and anyways c is correct victor so you get 10 points do do anyways we'll be right back after this commercial break Hey, you! Who, me? Yeah, you! It, do you really want to give somebody a gift for the holidays, but you don't know what? Yeah, I'm trying to get my mommy a gift, but I don't know which one should I choose. Well, I have a solution for you. Introducing... Apple Watch! Wow, an Apple Watch? What does it do? Well, an Apple Watch can do everything that an iPhone could. But here's the difference. It's basically like a phone on your wrist, but you don't have to carry it. Well, that's cool and all, but seriously though, what can it do? All right, fine, I'll tell you. Look, it can tell the time. Just like a phone can. Hey, can you shut up? Anyways, it can text people. 
Um, it can track your fitness. It can even help you track your running. Help me! Help me! I'm being chased by a pack of wolves! Ah! Help me! Help me! And it can be used as a calculator and download apps too. It's also used to make phone calls. Now let me. Yeah. Dad? Please leave your message for... Hi, Dad. Um, it's me, Justin. Um, my mom didn't want the Apple Watch, so she just let me have it. Right now, I'm, I've, I've done, I'm done setting up the Apple Watch. And, um, yeah, that, that, that's basically it. I'm using it right now. I'm calling you. Um, so, I bet you're watching football right now. So, I hope, I hope you're, you enjoy doing that. Well, of course you do. You always enjoy doing that. So, um, tell Grandma Shirley that I said thank you for taking me thrift store shopping and taking me to the pawn shop the other day and um i will see you next time bye well that was awkward and they can also make text messages look what i said <laughs> Well, gee, that does sound pretty nice. How much does it cost? Well, it only cost a whopping $400. What? $400? Is there a cheaper way to buy it? Yes, yes there is. Just go to your local pawn shop, ask if they have an Apple Watch, and then buy it for half the price. Wow, that's awesome! The Apple Watch. The iPhone on your wrist. Not sponsored. Do you always want to know what's in the stars? Do you want to know in the way you can see them up close instead of going into a rocket ship? Well, we have a solution for you. Introducing the Vivitar Telescope. It has three legs so it can stand on its own. And it also has a hole so you can see what it's like on the other side. Look at that, isn't it awesome? You even get to see the sky. You can see what you can do. You can look down, you can look up, you can look this way, and you can look that way. Isn't it cool? Well, heck yeah! I can do all sorts of fun things with this. Ooh, let me look at the clouds. Ooh, pretty clouds. I know you can't see them, but you know they're there. I mean, look at this, it's so cool. Oh man, it's really awesome. I get to look through everything, and it's great. And you want to know how much this thing costs? Heck yeah! I really, 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 really
really, really, really do want to know. Well, it's just the price of $75. Not that expensive. It's cheap. And you can look through the stars. Yeah, but you already said that. The VR telescope. Only in stores near you. And we're back. Isn't that great, Percy? Yeah, Thomas. It was so awesome. Yeah, I know, right? And look. Look at this. Isn't it cool? It's like this video is filmed on an Apple Watch. Look, and it's endless. I'm filming this. We're filming this on iPhone. And let's keep going and going and going. Look. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it sure is, Thomas. And this Apple Watch is really sweet. How much did it cost, Justin? Well, thanks for knowing. Because look, I'm recording this on my Apple Watch. And right when I press that button, it just stops the video. So I don't have to stop it on my iPhone. Isn't it cool? But the worst part, it doesn't have a camera like the VTX, so. I mean, I was gonna buy two watches, but it would be like a total of um, 348 bucks. And I didn't have enough money for that. So then I just got this Apple Watch. Yeah, it's really good, pretty sweet. The best thing you can watch movies on. I mean, this thing is really small, though, but look, look, at, look at this tiny screen. See this tiny screen? So, yeah, it, it's good and stuff. So, yeah. Well, thanks for letting us know, Justin. Anyways, on to the next question. What is the oldest Christmas song? Okay, I think I know this one. Is it? Jesus? That's not a song, it's a name. That's incorrect, Annie. You get five negative points. Doo doo! Well, f it. Annie, language! Well, I'm so f sorry, Thomas. You're such a f mm, son of a f hole. Annie! If you say one bad word, you're out. You're out of this episode. Well, f you, Thomas. All right, that's it. Victor, get her out of the stage. You got it, Thomas. Bye, Annie. It looks like we, you won't be in another episode of Trap Master Thomas and Friends Game Show ever again. Well, screw you. All right, say the N word on set. That is it. Victor, throw her off. You got it, Thomas. Wait, please, no! Yeah! Ah! Man, I love watching TV. Do you, Emmett? Yeah, Dan, it's really good. I mean, look at this show we're watching. Okay, wait, Annie, what are you doing here? I said the F word on television. What? Why did you do that? Because Thomas is a f whole... Hold up, did you just say... Yes, I said... So f off! Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't say that. You know what? I... Emmett, are you? Okay, so does anybody have the correct? 
What the f Annie? Uh, oh, oh my gosh. That was painful. I know, right? Who did that? It was me, stupid. Annie, what the f are you doing here? Listen, Thomas, you threw me on the other side, then I came back to hit you like a bowling pins. See, Victor, this is the type of I'm dealing with. Thomas, don't say that. You mean, yes, you did that before, remember? Well, you, Percy, James. Oh, I remember that. So I can't say anymore, right? Yeah. Wait, why did you do that? Didn't I just explain it to you, you whole? Oh, so you're not even gonna call me? Well, guess what? I'm gonna remove you out of the game and you won't be seen until you get your act together and say, I'm gonna ship you to New Mexico. Trust me, Annie. Do you like to move it, move it? Uh, you mean the song? No, that's just a... You know what? Never mind. Let me just throw you. Oh, oh. <laughs> All this weed. Uh, hello? Eddie? Uh, guys? Thomas? 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 Thomas! Oh, great. So this is the type of... You're treating me now? You know, Thomas, you're, you're a head. And do you know that? God. Well, at least I get to have all this time to myself. Mm, I should probably build a shelter. And it's cold outside. I'm just going to dig deep in this grass. There. Now I have a whole entire home to myself. Wait a minute. Cash, what are you doing? Cash, you better not piss on me. Wait a minute. Is that Pete? Ah! Ew. That's what you get, Annie. Anyways, sorry that I was cussing. Viewers who thought I was. There's some behind the scenes proof that I didn't do it. Well, duck you, Annie! Wait, so I can't say pie hole? No, you cannot say pie hole. Oh, that's weird. Well, sc well screw you, ditch! Well, buck you! Well, Thomas, you're such a goddamn mother flipper. You're a piece of crap and no one likes you. Well, crap it. Any language. So, yeah, that's proof that we didn't say the actual bad words. And anyways, since Annie's out of the way, we're on to the... Oh, wait, I forgot. We're on this question. All right. Anyone here gets it right gets 50 points. Well, I know it's me. Wait a minute. I think I know what it is. Is the answer... Jesus, Refius, Omnena? Well, if that's how you say it, then I guess that's correct. Now you get 50 points. Wait, I knew that one. Well, you get 50 points too. Yes. Do do. Now anyways, on to the next question. The next and final for this episode. Or for this part. Um, I don't know. But let's just do the next question already. What is the most iconic Christmas song? Ew, 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 me, me, me. All right, Ben. This is the last question for this part. All right, what's the answer? Okay, the most iconic Christmas songs. All I want for Christmas is you. Christmas baby, please. 
and uh, uh, 15 minutes of uh, later. Uh, okay, we've been here for 15 minutes. All right, Victor, what's your answer? Wait, I think I know. Last Christmas by Wham. Okay, that is correct. You get 20 points. Do do. See, Victor, I have more points than you. Well, that sucks for you, Victor, because you don't deserve that many points. I do, and you don't. Um, okay. Anyways, viewers, thank you so much for watching this episode. Um, we, we'll see you later because, well, it's, it's December... It's December 24th, Christmas Eve, and uh, I guess I'll see you on the next available video that's on this channel. Bye! Bye! Next episode comes out right now in five minutes. Do 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 Hello everybody, it's us, Thomas and Percy. Hello! And welcome back to the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show Christmas Special. Sorry this episode came out late. It was meant to be with the first part. But we also have some new contestants too, so... Anyways, here are the contestants. Up first, we have Harold. Now we have Charlie, the guy who's annoying and likes to piss people off. And finally, the infamous Devious Diesel. I'm going to win this. <laughs> Hello, Harold. Oh, God. No, God, please, no. No, no, no. Anyway, since we didn't have the time to write questions on a big, fat, ugly piece of paper, we're actually getting the questions on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, so that's what those things are. Joy-Cons. Yep, and me and Percy will be controlling them. So, let's get with the first question. We're actually going to do 10 questions, just like the previous episode. So, let's do it now. Okay, what are you waiting for? Alright, let's start. Let's start it. Let me turn the volume up. You remember you only get 10 seconds for this quiz and also subscribe to this channel. All right, here's the first question. What are Santa Claus's other names? Oh, um okay. This should be an easy one. Is it Chris Kringle? Saint Nicholas, Father Christmas, and Panel Zinc Nickel, or something like that. Yes, that is correct. Harold, you get 20 points. Do do. Now, anyways, on to the next question. What objects are typically placed at the top of the Christmas tree? Ooh, 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 ooh. Me, 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 me. I know the answer. All right, Charlie, what's the answer? Is the answer an angel and or a star? Well, let's find out. Charlie? Yes! Alright! 
pee pee. Pee pee, Thomas. Pee pee. Pee pee. Oh, yeah. Um, we get it. Now, anyways, you get 30 points for the, for the Christmas spirit. Doo doo. Anyways, on to the next question. Who got ran over by a reindeer in the classic Christmas song? Jesus Christ, death in a Christmas song? Jesus, Rudolph, I didn't know you were a murderer. We can see it on that red nose because red stands for blood and blood is on your nose. Oh, the humanity! Why would they do that in a in a Chris in Christmas? Christmas is about spending time with family. Santa Claus, Rudolph, Christmas movies, presents. Tell me about it. Exactly. So that why that's why we we're not gonna answer this question. But I know. Is it Grandma? Wait a minute. My Grandma? Curse you, Santa Claus! <sighs> okay. Let's just see if it's the correct answer. Come on, just load already. My grandma. Why well, couldn't have been Percy's grandma or James's grandma? I heard that. Shut up, James. Hiya! Thomas, don't you dare talk about my. Oh! Oh, the humanity. Ha ha. In your face, you ugly, devilish weirdo. I mean, like, what is wrong with you people these days? Uh, Diesel, can we do the Christmas special now? It's starting to get boring. All right, fine, we'll resume the Christmas special. But in your face, you ugly red monster. Hey, don't call me that. Shut up. I can call you whatever I want. Come on, let's go back to the studio. I agree. Anyways, folks, as you just heard, Diesel said that Rudolph ran over my grandma on purpose. So, he will get 50 points for telling the truth. Man, no wonder I haven't seen my grandma in six years. Doo doo! Anyways, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Hey you, do you want a product that's so revolutionary? Well, guess what? Introducing Nintendo's latest and greatest product ever, the Nintendo Switch. It's really cool. It even has a kickstand. See? And it has detachable Joy-Cons, so that way you can do almost anything with it. Take away the Wii U and you got a tablet game console. Ooh. And it also has parental controls. Ew! Parental controls! Oh, I'm the old little frog! Blah, blah, blah. It also supports amiibos! Wait, can, can, can you see that? Uh, it supports amiibo and me! You know, from the Nintendo Wii, and the Wii U, and the 3DS. It's cool. Oh, 
come on, come on. Oh, God dang it. And it also has themes for the home screen. You can choose basic black or basic white. I never choose the black. It's way more normal. And it also has an eShop just like the Wii U. Look at all those games. <laughs> and there's an amazing game library with games such as Just Dance, Grand Theft Auto, Auto the Trilogy, Animal Crossing, Happy House Part Paradise, and it even has Among Us, Pokemon, or Pokemon, and Fortnite. And I bet you're wondering, well, how much does it cost? Well, guess what? It's just a... It's just a... It's just a price of $300. If you want to get the Switch Lite, that's even cheaper. But if you want to get the trashy OLED model, it's $350 more. So would you ever buy a Nintendo Switch Lite, buy a regular Nintendo Switch, or buy a $350 Switch with no new features? My best option is Switch Lite, original Switch. So if you want to get it, buy it now. You know, it's Christmas time, so you probably want to get it for your brother or sister or your son. I want a Wii U. I really want one. So yeah, buy it now! Go to www.nintendo.com, not sponsored. Hey everybody, and we're back with another question. Now anyways, on to the fourth question. In the song, 12 Days of Christmas, what is given on the fifth day? Uh... Rest? Wrong. You get four negative points. Doo doo. Oh, come on. Wait, I think I noticed one. Is the answer five golden rings? Four hummingbirds, three henchmen, um, two turtle doves. And a one star in a tree. That is correct. You get Harold four points and fit five bonus points. All right. Do do. Anyways, on to the next question. What were the gifts given by the three wise men to baby Jesus? Wait, wait, I think I know. All right, Charlie, what's the answer? A Wii U? Look, a Wii U came out in 2012. That, at that time, the year was the year zero. Nothing happened. When the end of the year came, it still continued. Uh, so that's not the correct answer. I'm going to give you one last chance. Uh, is it gold? Okay, okay, you get three points. Harold, is it a Marif? I don't know what that is, but sure. Is it a Frankensees? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. You two get, you three get three points each. Doo-doo. 
anyways, on to the next question. In the Christmas song, Little Drummer Boy, what line comes after, Come They Told Me? Wait, I think I know this one. What is it? Is it what to do? What do you mean? Look, it says here, they told me, but you're supposed to say what to do. As in, they told me what to do to get this right. I I I, I know that how that makes sense, but that's not the correct answer. What? Does anybody else have any answers? Oh, I know. What is it? Come to they told me these nuts. That wasn't funny. Oh. I just want to be a comedian like Charlie. Oh, you stupid idiot. What is wrong with you? I'm the comedian in the show. You're not. If you ever try to do what I do, I'm going to kill you with a gun. Do you understand? Yes, yes. No, don't do it again. <laughs> Alright, both of you are incorrect. So, Harold, what do you got? Well, is the answer... Parum, pum, pum, pum. Parum. <laughs> Parum, pum, pum, pum. That is correct, Harold. You get... 10 points. And the rest of you who got it wrong, you get 6 negative points. Do do. Anyways, on to the next question. What is the highest grossing Christmas movie of all time as of December 21? You meant as December 2021? Yeah, that's what I meant. Anyways, I know this is going to be an easy one, so we probably won't get any wrong answers. Wait, I think I know this one. Is it Home Alone? You're close. What? What? Well, Home Alone is not... What? Yeah, sorry, it is the second. But we need to find out what is the highest pay grossing Christmas movie of all time as of December. 2021. This isn't December 1990. Okay. Um. Oh. Wait, I think this. I think I know which one. Is it The Grinch? Yes, you are correct, Diesel. Because that movie made 511 million US dollars. Jesus Christ. That's a lot for just one movie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they might make a sequel or something. I don't know. But you are correct. Harold, you get two negative points. And Diesel, you get 20 points. Yes, in your face, loser. Oh. Doo doo. Anyways, on to the next question. What kind of sleigh is used in the Christmas Carol Jingle Bells? Well, I mean, it's an easy one. In this song, it says, Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, one horn it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. It's in the song. It's a one-horse open sleigh. I'm surprised you all figured that out. I mean, that's... 
the second easiest one on the show. Anyways, you all get 10 points. Doo doo. Yes, all right. PP Thomas and Percy. PP. 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 Yeah, thank you. I know we're the best. Uh, anyways, on to number nine. How many ghosts visited Elvin Zier's scourge in a Christmas carol? What? That's impossible. Well, it's really easy. You know how I get out the act actually? It's easy for me. It's four ghosts Jacob, Merrily, Spirits of the Past, Present, and Future. That is correct. And we'll, s we'll do that idea on Diesel for, a next for the next episode. So, yeah. Of Trackmaster Thomas and Friends. So. Yeah. Anyways, um, Diesel, I mean Charlie, you get 20 points. Doo doo! Anyways, time for the final question of this episode. Guess the scrambled Christmas word. Ride win? Ride win? No, just guess it. Um, is it read? No, is it read? Close. Wait a minute, Charlie Diesel. Yeah, what's up? Have you ever heard the song called Rudolph? Wait. Rudolph the red nose reindeer. That's the that's it. Rain Rudolph the red nose reindeer. That's the answer. No, not the whole entire thing. Just reindeer. It's spelled R E I N D E E R. All those words are on the Nintendo Switch. That's the answer. So if we say it. That means we'll get 50 points and we'll all win. Oh boy, that's a good idea. All right, I'm going to do it. Um, Thomas, Percy, yeah, uh, me, Charlie, and Harold both figured out the answer. And what is it? Is the answer reindeer? That is correct. Ding, ding, ding. You're correct. Diesel and all the others, you guys get 60 points each. Yes! PP Thomas! PP! PP Thomas! PP! Yeah, yeah. Now let's see those final scores. Do do. Anyways, that was. A track master Thomas and Friends game show Christmas. See you guys in episode four. Episode four will come out sometime in February. Bye. Adios, amigos and viewers. Bye. Do 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 do. Doo, 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 doo. Hello, everybody. Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another Trackmaster Thomas and Friends game show episode. It's been a while, Thomas. Yeah, it's almost been like a month since the previous episode. Yeah, we gotta stop posting every other month. Let's do this a monthly series. Or we can do it weekly. Yeah, let's do weekly. Yeah, weekly's better. Anyways, time for our, well, time for the show to start. Here is our contestants. First off, we have James the Red Engine, who thinks he's red, but he's not red as Sandy. Ah! All right, now up next, we have Henry, who has the same color as Percy. Green Bros! All right. 
And for what a final contestant is. Wait, what? Thomas, what's Thomas Jr. doing here? I don't know. I didn't know this would happen. Daddy. Yes, yes, it's me. It's me, son. I, I want to play game. I want to play game. Wah! Okay, okay, you, 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 you can play. Yay! Aww. Hey, how come he got to be with you guys? Because he's my son. Do you have a son? Uh, no. That's what I thought. Anyways, Thomas Jr., since this is a baby episode, let's see if you can answer this question. If you do, I'll give you an Oreo cookie. Oreo cookie! I want to give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me! You have to answer this question first. What's the question? Okay, since you're a kid, a baby one, I think you all know this. Who let the beans out? Please lose, please lose, please lose. Come on, that's your god, son James. All right, I guess you're right. Come on, Thomas Jr., you can do it. Come on, Thomas Jr., I believe in you. Just answer this one problem. Hmm. You want that Oreo, right? Then just answer this question. Who let the beans out? <laughs> Ew! Disgusting! The answer is me. That is correct, Thomas Jr. Let me get your Oreo. Alright, Thomas Jr. Here's your Oreo cookie. Yay! Oh, that's my boy. Anyways, um, oh yeah, I forgot to put the scoreboard. All right, um, I'm gonna go fix it. And done. All right, Thomas Jr., you got 10 points as a head start. Yay! Anyways, on to the next question. What was the first episode of Trackmaster Thomas and Friends? Was it A, the replacement, or was it B, the robbers? Hmm, this is a tricky one. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Hmm, who knows the answer? It's me! Me, I know the answer! Hmm, Henry, do you know the answer? No. James, do you know the answer? Yes, I know the answer. I was there, Thomas. He wasn't. All right, then tell us the answer then. It's A, the replacement. Ding, ding, ding. That is correct. Now you get 30 points. Do, do. Yes, let's go. Okay, so you might know this one. But what about a Fortnite one? Fortnite? I haven't played that game since chapter one. Oh my, Fortnite? Anyways, on to the next question. Name two people in Fortnite Chapter 3. Nanny? You know we can't answer that. I don't even play Fortnite. Thomas Jr., can you answer that? Hmm. Spider-Man? Okay, and who else? The Rock? Jesus, you know everything I know. I'm proud of you, son. Anyways, that is correct. You get 50 points. What? How did he answer it? That's because he's a kid. In 2022, kids know about Fortnite, Minecraft, Roblox, and stuff. Doo-doo. Anyways, um, on to the next question. Who invented the chocolate chip cookie? 
chocolate chip cookie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Me, me, pick me. Thomas, who should we pick? I don't know. We can ask Thomas Jr. Or Henry or James. But I just don't know who. Come on, pick me. Hmm, or Henry, you go. Yes, I know who it is. Then who is it? The answer is Roof Graves Wakefield. That is correct, Henry. You get 10 hundred points. No, we can't do that. That's off limits. Oh, well, I'm going to give you 100 points. Do do. Anyways, on to this commercial break. The all-new movie, Thomas and Friends, Journey Beyond Sodor, in stores near you. <laughs> Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Big Shot, in bookstores near you. Hey, you, do you have a mom? And does she always go behind your stuff while your back is turned? Well, we have a solution for you. Well, introducing our latest product from Justin Studios, the Lego Save! The Lego Save! The Lego Save! I bet you're probably wondering. Well, how does it work? Well, let me explain. There's only, like, numerous ways you can open it. I mean, you take this side of that house off. Well... If you take this side off, take this off, you can be you can access all the things you want, like this, like this Oreo cookie. Well, I just need to know one more thing. How much does it cost? I mean, that's what I wanted too. Whenever I saw this baby, I mean, this thing can like. Let me show you what it can do. Come on, it can hide candy, snacks, smarties, even video game consoles. And your mom will never know it's a safe of all your prized possessions. And if you want a quick snack break, just open this, grab a snack, and then eat it and go. And this thing costs only $10. Yeah, $10. When your mom sees it. She'll think it's just an ordinary Lego house, but in reality, you have snacks and treats and money inside, and also gaming consoles. The Lego Safe! Get it now! Wow, that was the most shortest commercial break we ever had, right, Percy? I'm afraid so, Thomas. Anyways, on to the next question. What year did Minecraft came out? Is it A, 2009, B, 2011, or C, 2010? Thomas, we were around with those years, right, Thomas and Percy? Yeah, we were around. Daddy? Yeah, son? What's Minecraft? Minecraft is a game where you can build your own worlds. Oh, that's cool. Can I play Minecraft? After this game, son. Yay! All right, I know which year came out. Will you do? Yeah, it's 2011. B. Ding, ding, ding! That's correct, James. You get 20, 20 points. Do, do. Anyways, we have enough time for one more question. So, what will it be, Percy? Hmm. I don't know. Wait, I think I know. What? What year was the first Lego set ever made? Is it 1932? Correct. Yes! James, you get 100 points. Do do. Anyways, that's a wrap for today's episode. See you guys next month. Bye! Yay, I can play Minecraft. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Trap Master Thomas and Friends Game Show. 
I know, the show was on hiatus since February. How come every single episode comes out, there's always a hiatus? Like, that's what I'm saying. But since the main show, Trackmaster, Thomas and Friends... But wait, didn't its last episode just come out? Oh yeah, it was held back. It was supposed to be released on Friday the 13th, remember? Oh yeah! So anyways, the contestants were randomly choose by Justin. So here are the contestants. First up, we got Rebecca, James, and then at last place, Thomas's daughter. Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, Tiffany. Tiffany! Hey, why did you forget my name? Because you're a side character. But I'm Justin. My name comes from Justin's sister. Also, viewers, apologize from the camera shaking. Sonic OVA come out. Hmm. Come on, Tiffany. You love Sonic. You should be know. You should know the the answer. Well, in Japan, it came out in 1996 in two parts, and then in 1999, it was released in America as one big movie. Ding, ding, ding. That is correct. Good job, girl. Thanks, Dad. You get, how many points do you want? Oh, uh, let's say 50. 50 it is. Doo doo. Okay, on to next question. Percy, what do you think the next question should be? Hmm, I don't know. Hey, Thomas, why is there an iPod touch back there? Oh yeah, since we're the host of the sh this season. We decided that the first whoever gets the most points wins an iPod Touch. Urgent. With the movie, three, t three TV episodes, and seven songs. Whoa, seven songs. Yep. So if you get more points, you get an iPod. Oh, and by the way, where did you get the iPod from, Dad? Justin, when did the iPod Touch come out? Is it 2001? Eh, wrong. That's when the iPod Classic come out, dummy. It's iPod Touch, not Classic. Where did you get Classic from? Uh, 30 years ago. She's really stupid. I can't agree, I can't agree more. It's iPod Touch. An iPod is this little, tiny screen that you can't see with, with the, size, the size of a Game Boy screen with a click wheel. This is an iPod Touch. It's like a phone. It, ha it doesn't have a camera. And it has a home screen. Look. And it's touch screen like this. See that? That's what an iPod Touch looks like, Rebecca. Oh. Wait, Thomas, wasn't it 2007? Ding, freaking ding, James. It's about time you got something correct. That wasn't the fry. I don't want to hear it, James. Okay, you get 40 points. Hey, just one question. Where's the scoreboard exactly? Hmm. Wait, that's the scoreboard? Oh, okay. Now I see them now. All right, less ooing, more questioning. Now, 
Get back here. Sorry, Daddy. It's okay, my precious sweet angel. It's okay. I'm sorry, Thomas. Ow! Ugh. Thomas, why did you do that? You think I would treat you like my precious daughter in the world? Thomas, you're behind on your gas, electric, water, and car bill. You're past on your past due on your bills for 30 weeks. And you buy stuff for her? Yeah, Thomas. Justin's mom works for the government. If Joe Biden comes here, he can take you to jail. Plus, you're behind on your taxes 50 times. Okay, that Henry was supposed to do that. Henry? Oh, yeah, that makes a fair point. See? But that still doesn't make a difference, though. You have to pay your taxes. All right, fine. I'll go pay my taxes. Percy, can you take over it for me? Yeah, sure, Thomas. Oh, taxes. The most depressing thing you have to do when you're an adult. Okay, so here's my taxes. Okay. Let's see how much the money is. Okay, money you have to give to... That's how much money I have to give to Biden? Why can't he just take some money, that amount of money from Batman, Bruce Wayne or something? Wait, Biden left me a note. Ha 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 ha. Have fun in jail. Loser, you suck. Curse you, Biden! Meanwhile, I just can't believe it. What's wrong? Joe Biden just slapped me in the face. He, I have to give him nine million six hundred million dollars in taxes. What is serious? Yeah, and a material tax rate is twenty two percent. You know what? Make it ten thousand percent for crying out loud. Oh my gosh. Now I know why all these people in it on the internet say bring Trump back Biden goes to hell or something I don't know yeah that's what I'm saying I'm gonna agree to that bring Trump back my gosh I can pay his taxes his taxes are like $30 or something I, I, can, I can pay that my gosh Okay, let me just stop rambling about Biden sucking his taxes. I have to pay him. Let's just go to the next question. Why do I hate Biden so much? A, on an unnecessary amount of money I have to pay him. Or B, for no reason. Hmm, that's a hard question. Why do you mean a hard question? I was just rambling about it 15 seconds ago, Rebecca. You should know why. Hmm. Hey. You know what? I'm just going to give you five points. Because you're dumb enough. Do-do. Hey, Thomas, I think we fixed the camera. Wait, we did? Well, it's about time. It's about time we fix this goddamn stupid ugly, uh, ugly camera for crying out loud. Wait, Thomas, you slapped it. Now it's going to get even more messy. It's not going to get messy, Percy. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next episode's going to come out later this month. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Do 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 Hey everybody, welcome back to Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show Season 2 Episode 6. I know, it's been a long time since the very first episode came out, but we're glad to finally release the episode. I know, right? So anyways, here is today's contestant. So first off, while Justin's mom is ironing Justin's clothes, we got 
Emma, Duchess, and Mia. Oh, wow! Girls just want to have fun, too. Great. Yeah, we weren't expecting that. Hey! Okay, fine. But well, this is a family feud themed episode. So, Percy, can you get the cards for me? Yeah, sure. Okay, now, where are the cards? Oh, I know. The cards are right here. I got the card. Perfect. Now I only need one for this. So, alright, here is your first question. Name an occasion for which people wear their very best clothes. Okay, um, I think this should be an easy one. Christmas? Bing! Okay, name another one, Nia. Okay, um, a wedding. Ding! Alright, um, Emma, let's see what you can do. Okay, um, let me think about it. Church! Ding! Okay, we got one more. Who wants to do it? Oh, oh, me, 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 me! Hmm. Thomas, if you let me do it, I'll remarry you. I'm sorry, Duchess, but I already did that. Did that already with Sandy. Frick. Hmm. Let's do Mia. Yes. Okay. Um. Um. Party. Ding. Okay. Now, survey says. Now, it's time to reveal what the other choices were. Ding! Funeral! Ding! Graduation! Okay, now anyways, on with the next question. Percy, give me the card. Okay, here's the card, Thomas. Alright, sweet. Name a reason people take out a loan. Okay, I do not know that. Me either. Me either. Yeah, I don't even know what a loan is. Percy, you're 15. You don't even know what a loan is? No? Okay, I don't know it either. Alright. Let me go take this to Justin's mom. Maybe she will know. Hey, Justin's mom. Yeah? Name a reason people take out a loan. Um, buy a house. Oh, I thank you. Boop, boop, boop. What did she say? Buy a house. Who thinks buy a house? Me. Okay. Okay, now we're all happy. All right, Percy, on with the next question. Name a reason someone turns off all the lights in their house. Uh, save money. Do, do. Okay, what else? Mm, Nia. I'm going to bed. Do -do. Okay, final one. Okay, uh, save electricity. Okay, save electricity. Ding! Well, I guess that does it. Anyways, we will be right back after this commercial break. Children will be able to practice as many times as needed in the metaverse. Before laying her hands back in 32 BCE, but they can still watch Mark Antony debate in ancient Rome. Hey! You still didn't subscribe to Justin Studios? Huh? What are you waiting for? Subscribing to KK Epic? You didn't even see the. Did you see the videos yet? Wrong answer, pal. Show 'em, boys. Side. 
Alright, Eggman, finish what you're doing. I have to do one hit. I never tried it before. It makes me want to try them. And look, they're airing Are you gonna subscribe to Justin Studios? Yeah. That's what I want. Hey guys, we're back from the commercial break. Anyways, we're back from the com. Wait, what are you guys doing? We're trying to see how long it takes for the iPod's battery life to die. We're at 54 minutes so far. Okay, that is impressive, but. No, no, put that away. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Now, anyways, Percy, give me the cards. I right, here you go, Thomas. Okay, let's see this first one. Name an animal that people ride. Hmm, that's an easy one. Camel? Do. Okay, what else? Emma. Um. Horse or pony? Ding. Okay, final one. Duchess. Uh. Mule or donkey? Ding. Okay, okay, not bad. Okay, Percy. Next one. Can you read it for me this time? Yeah, sure. Name something a divorced couple literally cannot cut in half. House, kids, or rings? Hmm, Thomas divorced me, so I'll say kids. Ding! Okay, um, Mia. Rings? Ding! Okay, okay, Mia, I see you. You're ahead of the game. You're ahead of the game. Okay, now, Emma, there's only one option left. Um, a house? Ding! Okay, wow. Anyways, on to the next Name a way in which people show respect for their elders. Um, uh, show affection? Ding! Okay, um, spend time? Ding! Two-way tie! Oh, well, you look at that. A two-way tie. Well, it's about time, too. Well, Duchess, you're out of the game. What? When two contestants re reach a two-way tie, then that the contestant that doesn't have the same exact number of points has to leave. What? You kidding me? Oh, I hate this game. So, well, maybe you should have got picked. Wait, Arg. There's been a mistake. What, Salty? What are you doing here? You weren't picked. I was. I was on purposely picked, and then Justin said that I was already picked, so even though it was Duchess. Oh, wow. Well, we're doing a two-way time right now, and it's too late. Oh, come on. Don't worry. How about this? You can be featured in next episode. Huh. I like the sound of that. Anyways, I'll go now. Arg. Sayonara. Bye, Salty. Da da na da 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 da. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the bonus round. Okay, you guys won one hundred and seventy-eight dollars. Oh, where the where does the money go? It goes to your bank account. Oh, okay. 
Anyways, this is the bonus round. You'll be asked a series of questions, and whoever gets the most points will win this episode. Well, I hope it's me. No, I hope it's me. Well, let's find out. All right, Percy, get the card. On it! While Percy gets the card, you guys got to answer the question, and it has to be correctly. It doesn't matter if it was, it's a different answer. If you don't know an answer to a question, just say Steve Jobs or something. I don't know. That's all I could come up with. All right, Thomas, I brought the card. All right, Percy, now leave. What am I supposed to do? Here. Watch the Sonic movie on Justin's iPod. Oh, great. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, and by the way, there's like seven answer sheets on each of yours, so you guys get seven cards each. Okay, just let me just shuffle the cards for a minute. Okay, I'm not. Okay, Nia, let's go start with you first, such as you can leave. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, I changed my mind about the seven cards thing. You guys get the same questions. All right, Nia, come aboard. Okay. All right, now what I'm, I'm going to ask you to do, I'm going to ask you seven questions. And if you don't know any of the questions, just say, I feel me. Okay. Um, that's kind of sus, but okay. And then you'll have 20, like 30 seconds to eat. To answer these questions. Okay, a timer starting now. Name something a friend has that they brag is better than yours. Um, children. Name a worry you have now that you didn't when you were 10 years old. Uh, relationships. Name something a dentist does to you that would make it really difficult to make out. Uh, you mean to me? Alright, that's not it, but I'll accept it. Name an activity that is, that's hard to do when you have a stiff neck. Uh, watch TV! Name an animal that people use for transportation. Camel! Name something a policeman might say to a criminal. Um, stick them up. All right, that's good, that's good. That's good. All right, name an activity you shouldn't take up unless you know how to swim. Um, surfing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> name an animal that you could outrun. Um, a turtle. All right, pretty good. Uh, name an animal people sound like when they blow their nose. Elephant! Ding, ding, ding! Okay, time's up. Now, let's go see the results. Alright, Thomas, here's the, here's the card. And here's Justin's phone at the calculator. Hey, give it back! We just need to use it for something, Justin. Okay. So, Percy, where's the results? Oh, yeah, the results. Let me go get it. Hi, right, Thomas. Here's the results. Okay, thank you, Percy. You can go now. All right, sweet. Okay, everybody, welcome to the part of the show that's not in Family View. It's called Math Hour. And in Math Hour, we're going to calculate all the points that we have. This is for you kindergartners, kids. Anyways, so 5 plus 5 equals 10. And then Nia didn't choose anything, so we can skip. So 10 plus 5, 15. Now 15 plus 13 equals 28, okay? And now stick them up. So 28 plus 40 equals 68, and then, and then 6, wait, wait, 68 plus 6 equals 74, and 74 plus 43 equals 
117. So Nina, you get $117. Thank you. Wait a minute. I thought there was supposed to be seven. Oh yeah, since you were doing so good, I gave you two extra cards and you smuck them. Oh, thanks, Thomas. All right, now, Percy, here's the results for the, for the next one. All right, Nia, you just earned yourself $117. And by the way, it's in your PayPal. Wait, how do you have access to my PayPal? Um, Prince gave it to me. What? Yeah, he been pressing charges on his credit card. Wait, we got to save that for another track, Master Thomas. Okay, I'm going now. Bye. Bye. All right, Emma, you're up. Yes, I know everybody. I know everybody. I know. All right, Emma, before we start, let's have our very last commercial break. But come on, we already had one. Well, we got to do another commercial break. Ah, and this time it, it, there's two commercials. Oh, okay then. Hey you, do you have vintage things? No. Then introducing the Game of Watch. No, we already didn't add like that on a year ago. Okay, fine. Well, introducing the iPod. It's an iPod Touch third generation. And yes, it does not have a camera. But here's the things that you can do on here. So let's get started. The first thing that you can do is if you have an old dirty pen from your iPhone 2G, 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S, iPod Touch 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th, and iPod 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th gen, then you can use your old dirty pen so you don't have to spend $70 more dollars on a new charger. I know, right? Now that's just super cool. And it has password protection. So that way, nobody can access it. Like this guy. What? Wrong password? Wrong password! Okay. One more, one more time, one more time. Okay, alright, one more, one more time. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Alright, oh, I think it's one, three, um, two, two. Dang it, it's disabled! Pretty safe! And it can play exclusive games like Sonic CD, Cookie Clicker. Ouch! And so much more. But wait, there's more. It can, it can track your health just like an Apple Watch. Right. Look right. through right. your email. A portable web browser. You can see text messages from your friends and family, and have an app store. And you can also watch YouTube too. Oh yeah, I forgot the, the old YouTube app doesn't work anymore. But here's the most important part. You can listen to music. With or without your earphones. And do you know what the best part is about owning an iPod? The headphone jack. iPod Touch. Get it while it lasts. Women in stock. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Thomas, it's not the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Alright then, welcome back everybody to the Thomas Morning Show. Thomas, this isn't the Thomas Morning Show either. Fine, it's a family feud themed episode. Anyways, you're going to answer the question the same the same ones Nia answered. And if you don't know the answer to one of the questions, then just say face off. 
It's about dry, it's about power. We think hungry, we eat a sour. But in the work, but in the hours, and take what's ours. Like in some one of my veins, I told you banging with strange. I changed the game, so what's my Sorry, Thomas, that's enough. Okay. That was a good reference, though. Thank you, Steve Harvey. Mwah. Ew. Anyways, the questions will be in random order. Oh, okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, I forgot what I said earlier that I was supposed to say. So anyways, it's blank. Don't worry, it'll fill up at a random time. Um, okay. So just like Nia, you have 30 seconds to answer. And it starts now. All right, all right, all right. All right. Let me let me give you a question. Name something a friend has that they brag is better than yours. Hey guys, so I don't really feel like doing the rest of this episode right now. Elements of style. So I'm probably gonna stop making videos. I just lost the passion for YouTube. So my main focus is just making Roblox games. But I, I'm just to let you guys know, I re I'm making. I already released TTA of Racing 2, which is out now, and um, I'm working on Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Racing 3, Big City Racing. And I'm also making a backrooms game that is tied to another episode, which will come out ap after season three, episode 38 of TTAF. So yeah, I will probably stop making videos now. I don't know why it just sort of happened, but yeah, but at the I'll probably stop making videos for. Uh, very, 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 very long time. Like, probably for the rest of the summer. So, yeah, this is probably, like, the last video of the summer. And when, like, the weekend, like, the first weekend of school, I'll probably, you know, start making videos again. But, like, now, making games is my passion, so... Yeah, I'll see you guys later. But after, just to let you know, um, Emma actually beat in Nia, and yeah. So I'll see you guys when my next video come out. Bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show. Wait, Thomas, what are we doing here? Well, I decided that things are going to be different this time. I upgraded the prize with a Nintendo Switch and five stacks of games. Five stacks? Wow, that's a lot of games. Sure is, Percy. Anyways, well, who's going to be the host? Thomas Jr. Hey, guys. Ah, oh, no, not him. Ow! And this time, we're going to split it up to two teams. Team Hero versus Team Evil. Hey, everybody. No one likes you. And anyways, this is going to be a video game edition episode. And this is also going to be the final episode of season two. And maybe the whole show. But why the whole show, Junior? Because Justin... We'll also lack the interest in doing this series, since it takes a lot of work. Well, will there be a season 3? Maybe. Maybe, like, the next season will premiere in March. Cause it's, since it's going to have four episodes, though. Wow, this series isn't even loved. I know. But anyways, it's going to be a video game edition. Alright, let's do this. Alright, you guys have to... Question number one. You guys have to guess this video game. Well, I know a lot about video games, but I don't know about that one. Uh, I don't know. It wasn't the question. 
All right, you guys have to guess this video game. That's it. That's it. That's all we have to do. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh. Wait, I know it's Batman. Let's see. Yep, you guessed it. It's Batman. That's one point to Team Hero. Yes, sir. All right. Now, on to the next question. Now, guess this video game. Uh, Stranger Things? No, idiot. Does anybody know the answer? Uh, is it Prey? Bingo! Percy, you know your games. That's another point to Team Hero. Alright, on to the next question. Wait, Junior, can I be the host? Yeah, sure. I'm not going to talk for the rest of the episode anyway. Sweet. Alright, now on to the next question. Now you guys have to guess this game. Um, is it Yoshi's Whirly World? No, there's there's no yarn. Uh, is it Rayman? Let's see. What, Yoku's Island Express? Is that even a game? Ah, uh, well, looks like nobody gets points then. I right, now guess this video game. Uh, judging by the hat, I think it's Pokemon. Man, that girl's so hot. <laughs> Thomas, what are you doing? What, it's just a computer screen? Chillax. No, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, my bad. I right, guess what the video game is. Wait, I know. It's Shadow of the Tomb Raider. That is correct. Finally, Team Villain gets one point. Alright, now guess this video game. Uh, Simulator X2? Wait a minute. Is it Fallout 4? Bingo! Another point to Team Science. Alright, now there's two teams. Team English and Team Science. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, on to the next question. Oh yeah, I know what this one is. Is it F-Zero? Wait, I know. Is it Toka Race Driver 2? Doo-doo! Let's go! Assassin's Creed. Just at the perfect time, Diesel. Just at the perfect time. Now on to the next question. Okay, before we get to question eight, it's time for a commercial break. Hey guys, Justin here. Did you know that 91% of you guys who watch my content have not subscribed? So that means you guys are missing out on some really rad content. You know, like Thomas, Video Games, Sonic, Thomas, Video Games, Sonic, and all that good stuff. So yeah. Let's change this 91 into a 9%, because that would really help. Anyways, on to the video. Nintendo Switch, only $300. Negative 396 Celsius. Wait, what the frick? Haha, <laughs> I guess you're not a nerd after all. Gross domestic happiness index, Fiji, Mauritius, or Bhutan. What's Bhutan? Yeah, I think it's Bhutan. No, I have a feeling it's Fiji. I knew it! We did it! Good job, son! Which planet in our solar system has the weakest gravity? Mercury, Mars, or Venus? Um, I think it's Venus. No, it's Mercury! It's Mars! 
correct answer, Mars. Is ha ha! Take that, guys! How many years does a quinquennium last? 5 years, 14, or 250 years? I'm going low, so it's 5. 5 years. I knew it! I mean, I'm so smart. Each device changes DC current into AC current, an inverter, a commutator, or a rectifier. A communicator, stupid. And look at that dude's face, he's so depressed. An inverter. Wait, what's an inverter? I don't know. Found in your body, the organ of Corti helps you to regulate temperature, to hear, or to sleep. I think it's all three. Now I'm going with temperature. No, it's hearing, dummy. It helps you to hear. Ew, what did I say? What do you call permeable rock which can contain groundwater, a reservoir, an aqueduct, or an aquifer? An aquifer. Wait, Justin, what are you doing? You're supposed to record this episode. Yeah, I know. I just want to guess. And I knew it. Ha ha. I won. And you lost. Ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha. Man, screw this. Nobody cares about science anyway. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the final episode of Track Master Thomas and Friends Game Show. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Whoa, 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 folks. Well, this show is done. Well, I'll let Justin explain. Hey, guys. So, as you guys probably figured it out by now, I lost interest into Trackmaster Tommy's and Fred's game show. Now, what does it mean? It means there will not be a third season, and then I'll just be canceling the show altogether. I will do it with Younger Days, because we're not going to make any more spin-offs anymore. We're just going to focus on the main series. And plus, I can't do a lot of things at once. I got school. I got a lot of assignments to do. And like, the amount of impact on missing episodes. I wanted to do a lot with this series. And I should have did it when I was actually interested, you know, but I lost interest. And I think I might be losing interest in YouTube. Well, probably not, because I still like doing YouTube. So, there'll be no more Trackmaster Thomas and Friends game show episodes. It was a really good two-year run, but all things must come to an end. So, anyways, I hope you guys... Like, it, don't worry, I won't delete all the episodes, they'll still be on this channel. I'll make two more compilations, and then no more. It's done. I did the same thing with Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Mini, and I'm going to do the same thing with Game Show. And then it might be Younger Days, or even Trackmaster Thomas and Friends in general. Who knows, maybe in the future I might move on and not stick with the whole Thomas thing anymore. Because, I mean, I still love Thomas. I don't watch the show, but I do the content. So, anyways, I hope you guys understand. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, everybody. You guessed it. Welcome back to another episode of Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show. It has been a while since we did another episode. Yeah, time does fly by fast. So we have to fill in the gaps for November. Also, Thomas's Younger Days and Trackmaster Thomas and Friends already has their third seasons, so we're behind. Oh, I guess you're right, Percy. We gotta catch up. And this time, instead of three contestants, we will do five contestants. I know! And the winner will get this iPod. Sick! So yeah, it already has games and text messages and all that stuff built in. And this time, instead of the, the new... Wait, did we use the new Windows 11 laptop? I don't think. Oh, okay. So we will use the HP Windows 10 laptop. Alright. Let me go turn up the volume, because I want it to be... And this will be a Halloween trivia episode, so...
Wait, my mom? Wait, your mom is joining the game? I think so. All right, who is next? Huh, Lexi isn't that bad. Okay, who is next? We got two people. We just need three more. Hey, Gator! Okay. All right, two more spots left. All right, one more spot left. Who will it go to? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Please. You have to be kidding me. It's Diesel. Out of all the people this thing could have chose. It shows Diesel, the worst character ever. I know, right? All right, Thomas, send in the cast. All right, you guys can go. Wait, this is a game show? Well, speak of the jack-o'-lanterns. I hope James is here. Hehe, <laughs> I like to prank people. Hey, yo, what's good, my boys? All right, Percy, looks like we got all of our contestants. Well, that's great, Thomas. So anyways, you guys pick a side that makes someone happy or Percy takes the plunge. Those are your two teams. Um, okay. I'll pick make someone happy because I like to make people happy. Eh, I like water. <laughs> I like to prank people. Uh, make someone happy. I want to make someone sad. But I'll take this side. And, yeah, I like making people happy too. Okay, okay, Percy. We officially got our teams. Now, it's time to do the Halloween quiz. Hi, right, Thomas. Let's do this. All right. We will only do like 20, so. And you guys each get like 10 seconds each to answer these questions. All right, anyways, on to the first one. In which country did Halloween originate from? Is it gonna display like the, like the, like the three different answers or something? Oh, uh, I don't know. Well, you guys figure it out, and no using technology. Okay, jeez. All right, guys. I think we gotta work together. Work together? That's for nerds. I know, but this is like the only way we're gonna get this right. All right, think about it. Which country did Halloween originate from? I don't know. Ireland? I, I think that will be our answer. Oh, so tricky. Oh, wait, I think I know. Pizza Hut. No, that's a plate. That's a, that's a, that's a restaurant, not a, not a, not a country. The United Kingdom. Oh, yeah, KKK. All right, let's answer it. All right, ding, ding, bong. Time is up. All right, let's start with you make someone happy. Um, United Kingdom. <laughs> Mom, I, I know you're smarter than that. Come on. It's obviously not from United Kingdom. All right, how about you, Percy Takes the Plunge? Um, Ireland. Ding, bing, bong. 
That is correct. Originated from the Celtic Festival of Samothin like 2,000 years ago in Ireland. Huh. All right, this point goes to Percy Takes the Plunge. Ding! Okay, you know what, Percy? I kind of feel like there's something wrong. What? There's three on that team, and there's two on that team. What do you think we should do? Um, subtract one player. I was thinking of, like, adding a player. Oh, yeah, good idea. All right, guys, we will be stopping the quiz because we got to, like, you know, add one more person to make someone happy. All right, Wheel of Names, give us our next contestant. Well, Simon, I'm a bing bong. Salty will be coming. I, I think Salty will be coming soon. So, you guys, you got yourself a new teammate. Oh, boy. All right, Thomas, it's time for the next question. What was the or original use to, well, what was the originality to use to make jack-o'-lanterns before part Pumpkins. Huh, that's actually kind of a good question. Oh, yeah. All right. Two teams. Figure it out. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know. What? And don't... And All right. I think, I, I think it's radish. Ooh, good one, good one, good one. All right, guys. What do you think? We, we're like one point ahead of make someone happy. So we have to do something. Oh, wait, I have an idea. I think I might know what the answer is. All right, Gator, what's the answer? I think it's turnips or beetroot. All right, let's go. All right, um, let, 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 let's go. Let's go with turnips. All right, sweet. Salmon on the bing bong. Time is up. All right, it's time to see what the answer is. Hollowed out turnips. All right, I'm going to assume that Percy takes the plunge. Got it right. Yeah, we did got it right. All right. So, Percy takes the plunge. Let me get my pencil. You get another point. Make someone happy. Percy takes the plunge is like already crushing you guys. You guys got to get like three points to get ahead of them. All right, on to the next question. What does the word Dracula mean? I think it's pretty obvious. Don't blurt out the answer. All right, make someone happy, and Percy takes the plunge. You already know what time it is. Okay, I think it means vampires. Vampires? I think it is a son of a dragon. You mean son of a... No... Don't. Sorry. Yeah, I think it's like Son of Dracula or Dragon. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. And the answer is Son of Dracula or Dragon. All right. Which one of you guys got it? I think it was Vampire. That is a good one, but it is not correct. But since you guys were, like, actually paying attention to the question, I'll give you guys a point. There you go. You guys earned yourself a point for once. Yay! All right, how about you, Percy Takes the Plunge? Um, Dragon or Dracul? Yep, you guessed it. Three strike points. You guys are rocking it. All right, on to the next one. Ooh, this one's a true or false. True or false. Dracula has a sidekick. Yeah. Wait, he does have a sidekick. I think, wait, oh yeah, I think his name is Renfield. Renfield? You mean like Garfield? Oh, it's Garfield. 
Garfield that is psychic. No, it's Garfield's not his psychic. It's Ranfield or whatever it is. Yeah, Dracula does not have a sidekick. Like, there's no way he doesn't. Like, there's no way he has a sidekick. Yeah, it's obvious, like, he does. Like, there's no way he has a sidekick. Shamanumba bing bong, time is up. All right. Um, all right, let's go and make someone happy. Did you, all right, what is the answer? His sidekick is Renfield. Okay, okay. How about you, Percy Takes the Plunge? Um, yeah, he doesn't have a sidekick. Are you sure? Yes. Are you mega sure? Yes. Are you super duper ooper twooper mooper wooper sure? Yes. All right, then. The answer is... He has a sidekick. Ooh, Percy takes the plunge. You just lost yourself a point. Wait, what? And make someone happy just ganged. An extra point. Oh, great. We're tied with the make someone an idiot. Hey, don't call us stupid. All right, on to the next question. True or false? Halloween is the biggest consumer holiday in the U.S. Yeah, we all know this one. Yeah, it, it, it is not. Yeah, like, it's Christmas, duh. Christmas, you get presents. Like, why Like why wait until the 31st of October to get candy where you can just get candy, like, every single day of the year? Like, it's so stupid. Why do you have to wait till the last day of October to get candy? We can, like, get candy, like, every single day. Yeah, I know. Like, it just questions Halloween. You can dress up every single day. You don't have to dress up once a year. I mean, yeah, whoever invented Halloween is stupid. Like, they must be really stupid. Yeah, whoever invented Halloween must be really dumb. Because we can just dress up. And get candy like every single day of the year. 365, 2407. Yeah, I have got to agree with you. This is an easy question, but we'll find out the answer. Uh. Alright. Guess the scrambled Halloween word. We will be skipping this. Oh, it's cackle? Oh, okay. All right, we're skipping that. All right, here's the actual good one. What is the definition of the word hallow? You mean is when you can, like, say Halloweenies? You're automatically disqualified. What? I'm just kidding. I'll let you guys figure it out. And we will be right back after this commercial break. Did you ever want your teeth to feel sweet? Do you ever want to go to the dentist again after you ate 1,500 cookies? Well, we got something for you. Tasty cakes, tasty cakes. Chocolate icing, white icing. So god dang beautiful. You just want to rip your hands into the TV and grab that delicious tasty cake with cream filling in the middle. So delicious, just for your teeth. So try the all brand new Tasty Cakes, only $2.99. Have you ever said to your parents, Mom, I don't want those nasty Chips Ahoy cookies from three years ago. How is it still not expired? Well, we got a solution for you. Introducing. This is the Justin Studios cookie. Fresh out of the oven. So hard. It can bust your teeth open. So delicious. When you immediately take that first bite out of that cookie, you know it can cure cancer. Mm-hmm. Let's play that again, shall we?
So try the all brand new Justin Studios cookies. Go buy them now. Only for 10,562,892 hugs. Alright, alright, welcome back to another episode of Trap Master Thomas Friends Game Show. Alright, so, um, you, did you guys figure it out yet? Yeah, is it a holy person? Ding, bing, bong, you guys officially got it right. Now you guys earn another point. Uh-oh, Percy takes the plunge, makes someone happy, just got a one-point lead. You guys need to get those few extra points back. Anyways, it's time for the next question. Alright, which word did the word bonfire originate from? Bonfire? That's not a ha Halloween word. I don't even know. Alright, let's go skip it. Okay. Alright. What which famous magician died on Halloween? Wait. Somebody died on Halloween? Very spooky. Oh, man. All right, you guys go figure it out. Can we use our phones? No! All right, fine. God dang. All right, guys, let's go figure it out. All right, time's up. Who got it? I did. Is it Harry Potter Houndini? Um, you got the first name right. You got the rest wrong. Aww. How about you, Percy Takes the Plunge? Is it Harry Houndini? And bing, bing, bong, that is correct. You guys got your extra point back. Yeah, baby. All right, on to the next one. According to superstition, if you stare into a mirror at midnight on Halloween, you will see what? Wait, did somebody even try that? I don't even know. Let them figure it out. Oh, yeah, we already know this one. Stop the timer! Wait, what do you mean? What's wrong? We already know the answer. I'm the future spouse. Oh, dang, I didn't actually know that. All right. You guys get an extra point. All right, on to the next question. Who was the author of the famous novel Frankenstein? Oh, please, that's easy. All right, then what is it? Mary Shelby. Dang, you guys are on it. All right, Percy takes the plunge. You get another point. Yeah, yeah. All right, on to the next one. Which country is the region of Transylvania located in? Well, speak of trivia, we got to end this episode early. What? What? Why, Thomas? Why do we have to end the episode early? Um, because I got stuff to do, you know? Oh, yeah, makes sense. Wait, why is the camera shaking? Hey, hey, mm, mm, mm. Thomas, you're just going to break it. Look, it's fixed now. All right, I hope y'all enjoy this is a very long episode, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.